I'm going to call the meeting to order. Uh, Dan is not with us. The chair is not with us tonight, so I'm I'm pitch hitting. Um, the his wife has tested positive, and so he's waiting to see how his test comes out. And decided that 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 we didn't all need to experience the same thing, which I think is nice. Mm -hmm. Um, the first, the two, first two things on the agenda are both um, uh, pre-subdivision applications. Which, uh, so um, we encourage people to come and talk to us informally before they file um, a formal subdivision application. And um, and I, the first one it, it listed on the agenda is actually going to. I have to call him in Brattleboro. So my instinct is to is to say to the people in the room, come forward and tell us what's on your mind. So the McDonalds, please. All right, thank you. So my name is Peter McDonald, and uh, my wife and I live in Reading, Massachusetts, where we've lived for the past um, I don't know how long, 26 years, Julie, 16 years in Reading. Um, I've been coming up to Rochester, Vermont for the past, well, since 1965, I've been coming up here. My aunt and uncle lived in West Rochester at 3922 Brandon Mountain Road. Uh, in 1977, my father inherited the house and the property from his sister, Margaret King. And my parents have since passed away, uh, respectively, my mom about five years ago and my dad about ten years ago. And currently the property is owned by myself and my two brothers, Andrew McDonald and Michael McDonald, who lives in Rutland, Vermont. The property is a house, rights to a spring, and then a, um, on the east side of Bingo Road, there's some land in a pond that comprises somewhere between like 14 and 15 acres. So being that the property is now owned by myself and my two brothers, we're exploring ways to possibly subdivide the property and, um, and allow either the three of us or the two of us to enjoy it. We, one brother might just you know, kind of opt out. So uh, that, that's why I'm here, to see if it is an option to subdivide the property into two parcels, one parcel being a two-acre parcel that would contain the house in the spring, and the other parcel would be on the east side of Bingo Road, which would just be the pond and the acreage over there. So um, with the exception of the last week, the two weeks prior to that, I was keeping um, Julie in the town clerk's office pretty busy, asking for deeds and, and whatnot to try and get a history of the property to determine if, um, as best as I could, you know, can be kind of being a novice in this area, if, if the, you know, the, the property was subdividable. Currently, we get one tax bill for the whole property. But in looking back at the deeds, I found that the property, as late as 1977, was listed as two parcels. And it was listed as two parcels of property when my dad inherited it from his sister, Margaret King. So the, the two acre parcel was on a deed that says, you know, two plus or minus acres with a house and outbuildings. And then, of course, the other parcel would be, uh, and, and, it, and it provides the, um, you know, the, kind of the dimensions of the land um, from, a, from a survey from 1964, I believe. It's, it's a little difficult to make out the, uh, all the, the 64. I can tell it's 60-something. I can't tell if it's 64. But um, in going back to 1938, to all the deeds, um, you know, I have a survey for the property. And as late as 1977, that it was listed as two parcels. So, uh, I'm not sure I, I want to subdivide it right now, but if, if that comes to pass, you know, I, I'm looking to get a blessing to do so, that. So I, I, do that. I was, I, I confess I was looking quickly at the rules, and I'm, so you, so it came to your parents in two separate parcels, is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, it did. It, it was listed, mm -hmm. it, it went to my, from my, from my aunt uh -huh. to my father, and it listed two parcels in the deed. Okay. And that was 1977. I see. And and okay. Um, and there are they're combined under the one tax bill. Yes. Into one. Yeah, but that that's easy. I mean that that's just that's, that's, that's a phone call to the listers that, oh. that does that. That, 
Um, so what he's saying is maybe it's already is two parcels. Yeah. Yeah, and I and I have that deed right here that I could show you for your examination. Uh, yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, yes, yeah, please. Let me show it to you. <coughs> Oh, this is probate. Okay. Okay. So, um, so this is a probate decree. Yeah, and of course, uh, well, I, I don't want to interrupt you while you're reading. Uh, well, no, it, I, I'm I'm looking at your head, your uh, highlighting, which is really very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was. So okay, so so this so this is the decree, and. Um, and did it stay in in that ownership until you, until now? I'm trying to get the. So um, I, I believe that uh, document that you have in your hand yeah. was the probate right. agreement that passed the property to my dad, who was the executor of his sister's estate, right. okay. which went into probate because. Right, right. Uh, my dad's sister, Joey King, had passed away. I forget what the term they used. It's 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 on a previous piece of paper. He he died without a will. But it says it all, that it all goes to Albert. All goes to Albert, who's okay. my dad. Okay, who was your dad? Yes. All right. all right. Yes. So, so father gets it clearly listed as two parcels by the probate court. Yeah. Um, I think it's yeah, still two parcels. Could, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I think we're in agreement that if you that if you if you kept it as these two parcels, you wouldn't need a subdivision. That would be great. Um, if you want to change the lines around, then then you have to come then you have to come back and see us again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think I don't think I'd want to because I I actually have um, going back farther, I have the. Um, the dimensions of the property in, in rods. I guess that's how they, mm -hmm. you know, they measured it in the past with, with 16 and a 16 and a half feet, right? 16 and a half feet, exactly. Yeah. And, um, and, and, and the property, the two parcels are separated by Bingo Road, by the Chittenden River. It goes up the Chittenden River to the Chittenden Rochester line, mm -hmm. comes back down on the border of the Green Mountain National Forest, and then, um, and then just kind of squares around the house. And then the rest of the property is on the other side of bingo. So um, that's what I'd want to do if, if my brother and I choose to, um, to divide it that way. Does anybody one. else need to look at this? Yeah, both recorded too. Yeah. So, yeah. <coughs> we'll give you this back. Thank you, Sandy. Okay. So, um, so I think I think our, it, it's our opinion that as long as you as long as you keep with the as long as you keep each of those two lots to whole, you're fine. And we would. That's yeah. exactly. So, what but, we that, would. but that you, then there's the, that that does it does not trigger our subdivision rules. All right, um, and that would so from this point forward, it just really required me to have an attorney write up two separate deeds to take it out of the, the content that it's currently in. Wherever it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and I would, and I would, and I would encourage the lawyer to 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 go back and reference those earlier, th those earlier deeds where they were separate, as I opposed as opposed to saying. It's part of the stuff that's here, say. It's the part of the stuff that's here that was described <laughs> earlier. Okay, good. Right. Good. Well, well, thank you. Uh, this has been incredibly helpful. Uh, and I uh, appreciate you having me here tonight. Okay. Yeah. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so our, our next um, item of business is um, a pre-hearing on Sheila Barron's property. And um, Evan Chadwick is working with her and you know what I'm gonna let you yep. do this because you're better yet. Okay. So the yeah, Evans. Yeah.
Thank you, Michelle. Yep. Thank you. Thank Have you. a good night. It's a really miserable speakerphone. Okay. Oh, so this is a Zoom via or something or a uh, um, it so this is a preliminary um, this is not the hearing. This is a preliminary consideration. We didn't when they first Hello, filed. Evan? Hi. Hi, Evan, can you hear us okay? Yeah, speakerphone. Here, this is speakerphone. So, Evan, this is uh, the Planning and Zoning Board uh, calling. Um, uh, you are currently in the meeting. Okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's going to be really hard. It's it's very hard to hear you um, because of the quality of the phone. Actually, okay. um, Evan, if you'll forgive me, I think I'm going to try and call you back on my cell phone because I have a feeling my phone is going to be better than this one. May I come and look at this? Is that, is that okay? I have your number here. Thank you so much. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. What? Yes, yeah, that wasn't going to work. <laughs> Most miserable speaker yeah, phone, I think. There's like no so volume control. Just, on this just to bucket. set this up, um, Sorry. Um, when when they put in the application, which came after <coughs> after, after the deadline to even warn it, um, it only had a sketch, um, and we just got the survey last week, and I insisted that they get us something that was actually readable, mm -hmm. um, and so. Um, if if it looks like it's in order, then we will we will. No, uh, mourn it for a formal hearing next month. So this is this is just I'm calling the, it's what what our rules call a sketch plan review. This is a little more than a sketch, but it, we only had a sketch to start with. Heck am I? Is this this is West much better? Yeah. Will it work? Just laying it on the table so you don't have to hold it. Coming up from the bottom. Right, coming up from the bottom. Yeah. Julie. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Evan. Are you there? Yeah. Can you hear us I okay? Am here. Wonderful. Much we can, louder. We can hear you much better. Hi, Evan. Great. So, thank you for getting us. Hey, uh, how this, is everyone? We're great. Good. Um, so, this is Sandy Haas. I'm chairing tonight because Dan is out. Um, uh, and I'm very happy to see that you got, got us a real, a real survey um, that yeah. we can read. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> um, uh, JC sent me this, the, uh, the, the, Eight and a half by eleven last week, and I complained. Um, so, can you can you just give us a brief description of what's what you're trying to do here? Yeah. So, as, as probably some of you know, uh, unfortunately, you know, Jill and Kenny are moving out west, um, and they would like to retain a small parcel. They are under contract to sell the rest of their land. Uh, to some very nice people from Ohio who are very eager to come in. Um, and so uh, the, the goal here for, for Jill is to retain this 4.5 acres um, for family. There is no uh, plan at this point uh, to develop it at any, you know, in, in any way beyond coming and maybe camping and, and uh, driving a, uh, you know, an RV up there uh, to just enjoy some of that land. Uh, there is, uh, you know, certainly the, as part of the sale, there will be a deferral language just saying if they do wish to develop any of that property that they will need to go through the Agency of Natural Resources in order to get the proper wastewater approval. Where's the house? Where is the house? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. It's on the remaining, it's on the remaining what will be, you know, uh, about 112 acres of land that uh, Jill owns. So how many, how many lots are we talking about here? I guess I'm a little confused. Oh, okay. So there's one. Is this all one? Yeah, there's the, like the, one. It, there are two places um, where it says 112.3 acres. So. Yeah, uh, it is a little confusing. It, that is all. It's merged. Uh, Jill bought, you know, separate parcels throughout her ownership. Uh, most of this stuff was done in the late 80s and then early 2000, I think. Um, and so for tax purposes, they've all merged as to, you know, as one parcel. <clears throat> so what's the total acreage of her property? The total acreage of her property is the 112.3 acres plus the 4.5 acres um, okay. that she would like to retain. So we're looking at about 117.8 acres, more or less. Okay. 
can you ask him? If yeah. go, go ahead. Um, so you have a neighbor here who's, who's interested in asking questions. This, yeah. this is Caroline. Um, I wanted to ask, is the road here, the existing road, in from West Hill Road? Or is that a new road? Mm -hmm. That is the existing road? So the, the, ro the existing road is West Hill. Uh, uh, no, I meant the driveway in off of West some Hill. Road frontage. Oh, Evan, I think if you could yep, say all that road again, because yeah, you're, you're chopping up a little bit. I think we lost okay. you. I'm sorry. Um, so Uh, so, it's on West Hill, and then there is a small woods road that kind of accesses the property. Um, I'm afraid you're going to have to try and say that one more time because we're, we're losing you again. Okay, I apologize. Right, so let me see. Okay, let me see if I can maybe. Um, can you guys hear me up here? A, a little bit better, yes. Well, we could. So, is on the uh, calling. Are we are we good? So far. So far. Okay. All right. So 150 feet of road frontage uh, is contemplated by your regulations on West Hill Road, and then there is a woods road. Um, I don't know the class of it, but it, that is kind of like a driveway that accesses that 4.5 acre lot. Is that Woods Road already in existence? It is. Okay. And is the lower road the existing driveway into the property? The gated, gated, deeded drive? Yeah, the gated, deeded drive. Is that the existing road? Nope. Uh -oh. Gone. Gone. Okay. Anyway. Maybe Dune is Dune here? He might be okay, familiar so with that. Oh, do we have a? Is this, are we looking at the town line here? No, this is this is the border between um, the Forestry Service. This is the road up okay, here that goes up. Okay, I was curious why they. Because he's got this 150 yes, feet marked here. Is this the yeah, acreage that they're calling 4.5, this yeah, dotted yeah, line yeah. here? So this and this and this is included in the 112? 12, I think so. Okay. Hello? Hello again. Hey, all right, sorry about that. I think this should be better. Okay, thank you. All right. <clears throat> Uh, so to answer the question, the Woods Road, uh, it does, is currently in existence, and then also there's the 150 feet of road frontage on West Hill. Okay, that's that. So, this so, so okay. this map only show, does not show the entire property, is that correct? It, it, it does not. It does not show all of the 112 acres okay. that you current. Okay. And is, and what, what, you said the house is over here, so is No, this, the house is about here. So is this the driveway? This, this is the driveway in from to, the main road. This is where it forks. Okay. My piece is right here, um, and this goes up to Jill's. I see. Okay. Um, and this is where stone hedges. Your piece isn't on that 112, obviously. No, it's not. It, no. They didn't put it on Okay. There. Okay, so. So what's the question at hand right now? Um, whether what whether we have what we would need for the hearing for the subdivision yeah okay um, and and I don't would it make it's sense supposed to, to show a butters <clears throat> and I'm just going right. to look and see what we have in the application I don't know who's out there it's, it's yeah the, this it's, is Smith this was Smith's land originally I don't know who but none of these now. None, of, none of these maps are sh are showing, are showing who who is mm -hmm. the who's who of who's involved. There's only one piece of paper here. Yeah. Okay. So, Evan, for for the public hearing, um, we need to have um, um, a list of, of the names and addresses of all the abutters, which I don't see here, um, because we send a notice to them. We also put it in the paper, and our rules say that the, that the 
that the survey is supposed to show the abutters. Now, I, I understand that you don't want to have a survey of 112 acres. I get that. Um, but a sketch of the whole property showing the abutters <laughs> would be very helpful. Well, okay. Ca Caroline has a piece here, and she's not on here. So. Yeah, but she's not abutting that property. Oh, at the you moment, don't show the no, whole, no, at no, the moment at the, I am. It, until she's it, it, it the whole property. Well, then he needs to show the whole 112 acres. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I just said he did. I, I, on a sketch. sketch. It doesn't need to be surveyed. Okay. Right. Oh, Sandy. Mm -hmm. If he needs a quick information, he can go there. And um, if he clicks all the people that abut his property, he'll get all their information, all oh. their mailing information. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So, Evan, um, I'm told that you can go to Vermont Parcel Viewer, and it will give you all of the abutters and, and their mailing addresses. It should have their uh, uh, contact information. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Nice. Um, we, also, we also just look at the tax map in town. And yep. Would an old survey help with this? Well, we have we have we have a copy of something here. I think this is maybe the tax map. Um, is it showing the whole parcel? Yeah, I'm just trying to find it. Oh. There it is. Yeah. I have I have to say that it's easier when we can point to stuff for you, Evan. Uh, uh, the, the link to the to the abutters. Yeah, I'm just I'm um, I'm looking I'm looking well, at the he application. He wants that again. Which has oh, I'm sorry. So it, it's n not a link. It is um, the name of it uh, that Lewis suggested is Vermont Parcel Viewer. Vermont, Vermont spelled out. Yep. yep Vermont spelled out Parcel P A R C L Viewer. Viewer. Dot com. It wasn't I know, a link. It's just a Google. Just a Google search for it should. Okay. It will be the first one up there. Okay. I mean, because the, the 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 map that I have, as far as the proposed subdivision, does show, I believe, all of the abutters. It shows the U.S. Forest Service, the Samuel Howard, and then another abutter will be Jill Barron, and then another abutter will be Jill Barron again. Um. So are you looking for who's abutting Jill's remaining acreage as yes. well? Yes, all around her property. Okay. All right, so I will find who abuts everything there. I think we have all but maybe one or two. So I will confirm that. And should I just... No. Get that, get that to the chancellor. Okay. It's on, it's, it was in the original. So the, and the and the abutters will get notice of the formal hearing, which will be at our December meeting. Okay. Does he need I to can have, do that. Does he need, need to have all that water and sewer information and stuff from the existing house and all that involved in that as well, sir? Um, well, he's going to need it for the state. So. Um, so she getting rid of the part with the house on it and just keeping the 4.5? Correct. Like she, correct. She's selling her house. Okay. Yeah. She's just keeping, the, she's keeping some vacant land, 4.5 acres. Gotcha. Have you, have you contacted the state on this? Because my... No, we, we, we have not contacted the state because um, my client is not intending to build on the 4.5 acres or, or um, so we will be adding deferral language I understand. Uh, so that that applies to the piece that you're that the piece that she's keeping but my understanding is that they need to sign off on the retained as well on the on the other piece as well because it has septic oh you got it right there <laughs> it's a really good website I, I don't think it's going to be a big hurdle since it's so many acres but I believe they still have to to uh, sign off and we'll check with the state on that. That's uh, North, we're, that's North Springfield.
Yeah, okay. it's, it's super helpful. Okay. Got all the abutters. <laughs> uh, yeah. Take, take them five minutes of work. Um, yeah, you have to highlight the span, but then, yep. then you just go like that. And it gives all the info. Uh, yeah, that's very cool. Hmm. So, Evan, I think I think what we need is uh, at least a sketch that shows the whole property including the location of the house and the septic for the house. Um, and, and, and that shows, that names the abutters around, around the whole piece. Okay. Need it by a certain time too, right, Sandy? Sure. Um, yeah, I would say we need it um, um, by the end of next week. And we need okay. and we need the abutter sooner than that. Okay, I can I can work on that tomorrow. Okay. Are there other things people say that we need to be asking for here? If this is if this is all we had in front of us in December, what would we be lacking? We need to give you the whole picture of pretty much what you just said. Yeah, the whole and the whole picture. Yeah. Okay. And to make sure, since you're not on the map to be sure that you're included as one of the abutters. Mm -hmm. So Evan, if you does, could... Does she completely surround you? Is this mm -hmm. So no, Evan, if you could I, be sure to include well. Caroline's I, name as one of the abutters, even though her property is not shown on the map. Excuse me. Can you show me where your This is the, the property where your property is? It's you're okay. No, we're, uh, uh, I just put on the glasses. My understanding was that there was a total of 112 acres that she owned. That's what this says. Yeah, that's what this says. Yeah. 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 So I don't see where you're getting another 4.5 out it. of it. She's carving it out right out there. Yeah. So this is her. Pro I'm just trying to figure out uh, where your property is. <laughs> well, that, so we have a question, um, Evan. Um, this is 112. Yeah. The, so the, is, the tax map shows that all of her property is 112. So then, yeah. I'm looking at that, and that, that is correct. I misspoke before. That is correct. The, the entire parcel uh, owned by Jill up there on West Hill is 112.3 acres, is what I have. So that is not in it. To 4.5. So, so we're talking then about two parcels, one of 4.5 and one of the, the balance. Correct. It's on the tax. So that's what is that that that's actually right there. confusion there. And can this, you see what that says? This is confusing so that a there's a line yeah. here yeah. and it says 112.3 uh, acres on I this side and it then it also 112.3 here. And for okay. so see map reference card. Yeah, they're both listed as the same um, parcel. No, oh, okay. It's not, it's um, not, it's is this the house? Uh, I'm, I'm just sure. wondering no, what this. Here's the drive. Me too. What that line is. Unless it's going to be there because that's where the road comes on to. It may I'm have sorry, been just, a point of reference I'm from a purchase of this piece and this piece. Oh, together, and, right, and because there were four different parcels and yeah. originally, I believe. Caroline? Caroline, yeah. yeah. This was the street road from there. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to get in so. closer, Julie? Yeah. Yeah. See this drive that comes off? All right, that's it. That's conservation. That's conservation. Is that three acre minimum? And then her house. It's right up here. It's right up there. Yep. Yeah. It's hard to see on that little map. No, actually, it's a little app. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if, if, when you go home, yeah. just jump on your computer and yeah. pop that thing in there, and you'll find everybody. I have this. Oh, you know what? Great. It like, does say. Oh, can I take it? Yeah. So, um, so I guess I guess I would like to see <laughs> the survey map corrected to 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 show the. The acreage of the retained, or the 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 bigger piece, the leftovers, mm -hmm. and the way it is right now, one side says 112, the other side says 70. Um, I mean, it's very confusing. Yeah. 
Because okay. some of this should be included uh, on, in the 112 as well, correct? Could you blow up correct? the tax map and then just show the, the butters? Um. Because this is Carolyn's property. You've got another one here. Oh, then it's one. National yeah. Forest Service. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so there, there, um, Evan, there's a suggestion that you might be able to do this by, by blowing up the tax map. Um, actually, I think that's a reduction, the tax map. Yeah. Um, but I'll let you figure that out. Well, the, the, the line, the proposed line is here. So, so the- It pulls the, out of the 112. Yeah, yeah, this is the proposed line. Mm -hmm. so, so then the, the basically it's everything else. And this is just a road, and this and this is a leftover. Li we're we're very confused by the by the what we call the leftover line on the <coughs> that um, um, that's on the left side of the of the map. This it, was it, the original piece, yeah, and then she good. added this piece to her original. But it all, okay. you know, tax wise, it all got put together. Well, is it still right. subdivided? Is it formally yeah. joined, or are they? A bunch this is the line you no. see in the map right it's, here. It's um. This is Carolyn's property. It is. She pointed okay. to right here. It is not formally property. joined. Okay. Just, okay. It was, so they have it was, several. So it's similar to the gentleman. No, just two. Right here. Oh, just yeah. two lots. Just two. And right. that similar and to the gentleman who came in, right. where it was, it was, it was originally Carolyn, historically. The okay. Um, Beyond your drive, where your house is. Well, I mean, well, there were two more building lots so there. No, this one was makes it um, sandy. For, uh, this, Allen, this is actually still two lots. Okay. It probably should be represented. Yeah. The acreage there and the acreage there. If, if they're only getting it joined for tax purposes and it's still the form, if, if, two it's form if it's formally two parcels. Right Although now, it says has the same parcel or, number. Yeah, that's the curiosity to me whether this is two separate properties being built together or whether it's actually one property. Well, I guess I guess that would be a question for the lawyer, uh, <laughs> Evan. When when you convey well, that would the, change house, all the, numbers the house, the house, and that and the one. property, are you going to mm -hmm. do it as a single piece, or are you going to list all of the the separate parcels? No, so we're going to list all of them just for property description purposes, but it will be one deed. Explaining that, that I mean, the, the parcels have emerged for you know over 20 years now at least. Uh, so the intent is to basically convey all of it, excepting this 4.5 acres, from that conveyance. Um, you know, to the new buyers. So there's going to be a formal joining of all the parcels, and then a removal of this one. Arguably, yeah, yeah. Parts, it's parts. confusing because there's nothing marked on here, but that is included oh. in the 112, this part right here, and the road. And the, well, if you look at this, it's really explains it. So this, this line here, hello, that Evan. Line there, this is the part. <laughs> We're still here. We're still just uh, uh, discussing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this is so. Uh, there, this what? is what we can't see. Mm -hmm. You can see it better in color, Carolyn. Okay. Thank you. This is the, Carolyn's property. The blue, property the blue right will here. show you what the new, Somebody else's the new property, property there. Yeah. I would love to get a copy of this if that's possible. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Would, would that be okay? Yeah, I don't know that it's going to cut copy color. Mm -hmm. Let me try. Oh, thank you, John. Yeah. Okay. So, so, what more do we? What more do we so need for him? From we him? have so far, Evan. We have that you need to show on the revised map that you're going to bring the house, where the house is, where the septic is, the names of the abutters, and a sketch, a general sketch, at least of where those abutters are. Um, uh, as well of the, as the acreage of the retained piece as differentiated from the 112.3 <coughs> acres. So the difference represented there. Um, okay. Do we not want, do we want them represented as one if they are legally two separate <coughs> ones? Um, if she's, if she's treating it as a single parcel, that's fine. Okay. Excellent, and we need all of those things by the end of next week. 
especially the abutters names. Yeah, yeah, that'll be priority. Okay. All right, I will uh, talk with Jill and so you are put something out. together, and we'll be back. Oh, uh, how, how should I submit this you stuff to you guys? Where I was. Everything goes to the, to the, the Rochester Town Clerk. The, the triangle piece. piece. Yeah. Right, so it's you are Julie. landlocked yeah. within that. Okay. Right, but I have a right of way in right on this away. road. You, you can see right. it on there. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Uh, thank you, Evan. All right, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Allowing me to appear by telephone. Have a good day. Have a good evening. You as well. Thank you. What I don't understand is on the tax map per, per um, amount of acreage is the here. hundred. Yeah, yeah. it's a hundred and twelve. But yet, if she's pulling four point, he's going to correct that. Yeah. Something now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be one twelve minus four. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. And that's all national forest. Yeah, it's surrounded by national forest. Beautiful piece of land. Makes me want to go look now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> right up there. You gonna open the gate for me? <laughs> I have a key. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, nope, I don't know. This paper clip was holding yes, all that yeah, together. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bruce. Whose device? Did you want our attention? Uh, girl. That is um, Alicia's. Oh, okay. Alicia's device. Alicia, Alicia, Alicia. Alicia. Thanks. Oh, so you're just observing? Okay. Um, okay. Um, Mr. Mr. Administrator, sir. Yes. We've got two tonight. Are you writing all this too? <laughs> no, I'm just, <laughs> just making notes one. for my just just for my own benefit. Oh. <laughs> just um, just oh. over doodle. I just can't. Caitlin Ballou and Cody Bowen in the 189 State Garage Road are um, adding an outbuilding new construction that's um, nice drawing. Um, it um, meets the setbacks and it doesn't need any septic and it already has a driveway. I like the blow up. I know, I like the blow up. It's cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Must be Caitlin's work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so I uh, approved that one. Okay. And then we also have Dave Kennett at um, 1179 Route 100 North in Rochester. Actually, the property address is 611 Liberty Hill Road. And this is where they recently got the driveway permit from the select board. And they are putting in a, um, a house, new construction. And this is kind of in the middle of a big chunk of land, but it um, meets the setbacks. And I approve that, that one too. Is that where that little shed was hanging out for a long time? Up? I think it's, um, it's it might be. Side of Liberty Hill Road. Yes, yes. So across, across from the folks? Yes, across and uphill just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So beyond where the other brother built? Um, where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's um, oh, yeah, to the south of the, so this the is, farms here. Yeah. This is a house um, drawing, you mean? Or, I mean, what's so yeah, the so It's going to be a single wide trailer, but it's a new, yeah, it's a new house. Okay. Yeah. Approved. Yeah. Okay. That's what I got for you cool. tonight. That was it? Okay. Yeah, that's those two. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. um, and I just wanted to remind everybody um, about the um, the consortium grant. We, I, I, the select board approved both both of our grants at their meeting last week. Um, the the um, and and it looks, I, I saw this letter from Julie. I, I don't know if it, does, did Dan get this? Do you know? There's a, there's a letter. Uh, not only not only did you sign off, but you actually wrote a letter of support. Of support. Yes. Exactly. Um, but I don't know that Dan has seen this, so I'll try to get that to him. So they approved both grants. They did. Which they did. Um, you're talking about the so, so the one that we're combining with the other towns too? Both. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Um, and and we had we had approved both last month. So, right. Um, so those are both on their way. Um, and having having not Dan here, I'm sort of feeling like like it's not. I don't know how much we can do well on the zoning. 
Do we want to talk about zoning? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Greg has jet lag still. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, he had all the notes. Right, so and he had very of, good ones. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling And that. the passion and drive for it. Correct. That also, yes, yeah. We we have we have been revisiting the the um, the housing issue. Um, mm -hmm. It's getting more complicated than we thought. Um, Are you talking what yeah. constitutes the second residence? Yeah, property? yeah, yeah, all yeah, yeah, all of that. Um, mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. particu that. particularly particularly in, in in the context of trying to increase housing. Yeah. So um, we just decided that it was a bigger conversation. I think it's. it's <sighs> Um, and we haven't we haven't come to any any decisions about it. Um, and I one of this this consortium grant that you don't know know about yet. That, so Two Rivers has put together seven towns, including us, um, that at, that are applying for and we're applying for a grant to look just at housing issues as 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 they can be um, addressed by zoning. What what we can do in in zoning and that nice. that'll be interesting yeah. because because we can see what other towns are doing as well. So um, that that will that's a big project and we won't know we won't know about the funding until December I think and it actually doesn't start till next year. Okay. Um, right. Is there other business? Did we hear anything back from uh, the solar array on the oh, um they made a very long. I, I actually was at the the uh, select board meeting last week. They presented a long, made a long presentation. Um, what they are looking for from us is um, is a letter that they have that that we consider it a preferred site. Um, and uh, do you and know they're going to they're going to come and make a formal presentation in December. Oh, okay. Um, they one of Tegan couldn't be here tonight, so that didn't seem like a good idea. Do you know if they've that. marked it out? There are a couple of flags. I, I saw those today. I wonder sure if that's really yeah. so. Is our, is our judgment going to be based on aesthetics or based on solar optimization? Well, so because our town plan covers both of them. So, so, so what was the first part there? Aesthetics. Aesthetics. Yeah. aesthetics. Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. or yeah. on optimized solar. Well, I. See this is what the town well, of Ward. I'm I'm showing Greg a letter that we got that that they got from the town of Wardsboro. Um, I was I was uncomfortable with the request. I mean, I, I, my understanding was that we were kind of kind of going to step back and let and let the public utility commission make most of the decision. They want us to actually bless the project to say that it's a preferred site, and if and if we do that, and the select board goes along with us, and Two Rivers goes along with us, they get um, they get a better price from Green Mountain Power. And I, my reaction was, gee, I don't know what criteria we use for that. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to give us some guide, guidance on, you know, what's the criteria? We, because we basically follow rules here. Um, and I, I so, saw. So, here, uh, so reading this letter, here's the challenge. So yeah. we have an energy section in our town plan that has a list of some of these very same things. And what Wardsboro did is quote the town plan. Unfortunately, we never directly address the aesthetics issue in our town plan. What it, you know, whether aesthetics is one of the things that we include in the review of a solar site. Mm -hmm. um, so but I think we, we do in, in, in as far as general development, though. Yeah. Is that we, not considered development? Because because a, a solar site, the jurisdictions in the 248 process, it's really outside outside the town's the town's authorization other than setbacks you know structural setbacks right mm -hmm. um so no the way a town it. has some input on, on the aesthetic part i mean so you know solar development we support it in our town plan no yeah, yeah. so but from an aesthetic standpoint the way that, that we we would have to put language in our zone that our preference on screen basically to? What's that? That's specific to yeah. solar development. Specific to solar development. Which is I would have thought that too late on this one. Been considered part of our general development criteria. It it, it I mean, it it's is. like saying you know I don't want a particular type of house, you know, because I don't like the look of it. Mm. Well, so, yeah, but, you know. Well, that's yeah, but we wouldn't do that really, right? But it's supposed to fit the general feel of the neighborhood. 
or the general whatever yeah. I did flavor. It can be a will. slippery slope. So uh, another aspect of it, though, in the request for preferred site and what the town plan does have included is the um, the mapping of optimized solar gain. And it just so happens that on their property, on the upper field, is one of the largest optimized sections on that map. And the section where they're putting, planning to put it, is actually not listed as a, a, as a prime a, prime as spot, a, or even a half prime spot. Well, Do you know if it's the one that's down over the bank a little? There's stakes. I saw some string and stakes. Yeah, down over the bank. Down it's very kind of county corner between the pond but and the there's mountain. Huge, like there's a whole bunch of trees right there. That, that was it's also in the off. shadow of the, the mountain. Yeah, right there. I mean, significant. That's, well, so well, that that to me made was a red flag in terms of the town saying this is an optimal spot because um, it's it's pretty obviously not when you look right. at the maps that we have in our town plan that show the optimal spots for solar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When, yeah. were, when were those maps made? Um, you look under the um, planning and zoning and maps, I think it's map 10 or 10 or 11. Yeah, but, but when, do we know when they were made? Those, um, those, those maps? were included aren't in our most recent town plan um, generated yeah, the, yeah at the state level they, yeah. they did they did an optimization it's all done via lidar yeah. so they look at LIDAR. slope angle and, and, okay. and well that that piece where they're proposing to put it there's a term and I forget yeah. what it was but it was it was good but it had restrictions or something mm -hmm. there was another term it wasn't restrictions but in other words, things they'd have to do to optimize the space. Right. They'd have you to know, cut all those like, trees for like one cut. I mean, the there's trees huge or... trees, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't, again, I think it's tricky for us to comment on aesthetics. Yeah. yeah. Um, we can support solar development, right. ideally. I mean, again, I'm looking at the Wardsburg level. They're just quoting their town plan. Right. And, um, could, I, could I just take a look? So, it, so they will they will make their formal presentation um, next month. Um, they they had we had a miscommunication, so they they didn't. I wrote to the email that she gave, but she didn't bother. But she wasn't checking that email. She was checking a different email. Um, so they'll come next month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so are we allowed to interject that the other field would be better? Well, I told them that that was that that was the you know what, what we had talked about, mm -hmm. and they don't want to do that because a um, the cost of uh, uh, poles and wiring to get there is apparently prohibitive. B, um, they're concerned that it's also prime ag land and that that will um, uh, Put them at a disadvantage in the public utility commission. I, I don't know. Um, hmm. most, um, most of the largest solar fields in Vermont are on Pine Island. Yeah. But there's there's yeah. one there's one question that came up last month that I don't know the answer to. Um, one of th this is bigger than a standard residential um, in installation. Fifty kW. Yeah, yes. it's fifty and. Um, uh, and one of the neighbors uh, questioned whether that constitutes a commercial use, and and I don't know where where that. You, and I don't know where net metering stands, but there was um, group net metering was allowed up to 500 kW, um, okay. but, um, which is not commercial. It just mm -hmm. resident several residential customers can subscribe, be part of the group. Okay. And they get the benefits of okay. if it, as if it was on their house. And that's what they're talking about because they yeah. because they have many family members. Yeah. Okay. 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 Well, Five hundred would be considerably larger than the fifty they're talking about. This is the map. I'm not <laughs> well, seeing a um, update on it. Yeah. I mean, but one fifty is on, it know, takes about four acres right. for a one fifty site. So you can do the math, whatever. So, 50 would be about a third of that, so mm -hmm. an and a half of the yeah. solar panels, yeah. Yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah, we need to address this issue and at least decide whether or not we're going to put in a screening section or a sex section in our, our zoning. So we, we have a standing when they go through the 248 process. 
that that's how that I mean we what what's worse to see you know a, a, an ugly screen or or a or a group of panels sitting there it's, you know, yeah I mean there's some fairly good sized sites that are screened yeah properly screened they're very unnoticeable screened with what usually trees trees okay yeah then you've got to have that set back far enough so it doesn't interfere with the light coming to the panels yeah, it, it, it does it, yeah. it depends on the lay of the land i mean there, so they'd have to reforest and wait to grow you know yeah i've never seen <laughs> i mean if you want to see one go um <laughs> if you go out by the hospital in rutland and head out the back road toward cold river there there's yeah. a fairly good size set right. there just before the turn back yeah in the back into town and it's well screened and it's I suppose if you're standing up on a hill directly across from it, but from the road, you can barely notice yeah. it. Yeah. And they, they, they just planted the right size trees right off. I mean, whatever they are, shrubs. But, right. yeah. That's all. That those are attached to the plants. In other words, we have them. Maybe. Holy the other moly. question that I believe Mark Blaine brought up, who's a neighbor, a neighbor across the street was is there some kind of what was it is some kind of insurance that if you know the equipment becomes decrepit or unusable that it will be removed i thought that was very interesting i'm not sure when the public service board rules on one of the installations what the decommissioning requirements are uh -huh. but we maybe you could maybe they could check that by just going into the website. Okay. I'm guessing that they probably do have some kind of requirement. I would that. say so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're about 20 year life, and you have to start to replace it. Photovoltaics. Well, it's hard to say whether that's a green dot right there or not. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean that's and again, that, that was the word I was looking for. Constraints. That was your, <laughs> not, not restrictions. <laughs> constraints. That that wasn't based on specific site evaluation. That was just taking a map and then digitally determining. Um, what would be a prime solar site? So, you know, they, they use LIDAR, which theoretically captures forest and slope direction and all that. Um, but it wasn't like somebody went out and said this site is an optimal solar site or not. Gotcha. It's more of a. Yeah, it's digitally created. Yeah, it's all yellow there. Says there's some constraints, but which was probably just the trees. Yeah, in a lot of cases, that's what the constraint is to get the right sort. Unless, like you said, it's too close to that hillside where it's going to get blocked out at some point. So I understand that some of you got to see the minutes. I my email's down and I didn't, but um, I did. I had a couple things, but are we approving them without you reading them? I. I I, I guess I, I guess I have to. <laughs> well, you no, might find. No, you can. You, we can we don't have to. Approve yeah, we them. can wait. We can wait. Well, I, there's been pressure to get them up on the website, and we can't do that until they're approved. So. Oh. So I didn't know that. I was, didn't realize oh. that was the case. I only had so one. So they wouldn't have been able to be put on the website until tonight, anyway. Well, no, you can put uh, unapproved minutes on the website because you have to put them on right. within five days of the meeting, and then you can um, update the. The minutes, the if, they're amended, if they're amended, yeah. amended. Oh. Okay. and amended, okay. amended. Yeah. Yeah. this is great to know. Yeah. Thank you. I only had two things, but I don't know if it's not. If, are we going to do it tonight? Sure, go ahead. Oh, one was um, is, is your name L O U I S? L O U I S. Yeah. So there was a U. I wrote it down specifically L O I S. Right. I was like, that's really weird. But you said it was you know Italian. I was like, I don't want to. That was you know. I'm so sorry. All right. I will make sure to put the U back in then. The other thing was the Marvin Harvey thing that we didn't need to do any. Um, approving or not approving it was irrelevant anything, but I think you had said we approved it. Do you remember? I did. I did write that. Right, down. but we didn't need to. If we I'm unless to. I'm not remembering it. I but remember I don't think Dan. It, oh, okay. I do well, remember Dan did, what saying. Did, what did you What did you do this on you, What did you do on Marvin's um, slope? Uh, slope you know his down. his landscaping. His landscaping. We have no jurisdiction. Right. Well, what did you write on the permit? Um, I don't think that we even um, got a permit for that. 
Okay. Because I think, it he came to, I think he came to ask if he needed. He one. asked if he needed what because he had one okay. filled out. Yeah. Right. But then, so there's not one hanging up there. No. Okay. So I don't know how you would reword. Then that. I will. I'll. I can write that Marvin. Uh, no. No permit required. There yeah. is one no. hanging up there still for Marvin that was not that he hadn't signed. That was when he was talking about building on that property. Right. And but we remember. When I, he, I thought I. I thought I found that. Is it there? I think it's still hanging up there. Oh, so, that, I think, okay, hang on. I think that one, are you reading the minutes, Greg? Yeah, well, I read them I, I So I would delete the sentence. Um, I'm not quite sure what we were saying. A board member, Greg White, not present. I don't work with the Public Utilities Commission. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, no, I mean, I worked with them in my, when worked I was working. And, uh, I can delete that. Yeah, sure. and then it says we'll have a form to look at the town plan. I mean, we have a. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't mind me. That's Four what schools. When you're not Four there, right? News That's to Greg. Right. <laughs> oh, you didn't know about this guy, did you? You didn't know you were there. But <laughs> oh, right. That's the bad oh, gosh. Right. Okay. I, I will just delete that. Delete. Delete. Delete Greg. Delete Greg. Greg. <laughs> delete Greg. <laughs> okay. Thank you all. I, I you appreciate me. your <laughs> indulgence. <laughs> Um, Delete Greg. <coughs> it's on the list. <laughs> Anything else? We do need to address the issue, but. Yeah. 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 I didn't see any other trouble other than Lois spelled wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what was your last name again? You know. C O C C I. I got that. I know I got that. So. And I want to so make Greg, sure. So, Greg, do you I know your who email? This fellow is. Oh sure. I, I, I think he, I do. I think. Uh, I mean, he bought Tupper Fair. Yeah. 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 Uh, Remind me of your email. Um, what, what one? <laughs> oh, the one that you're going to be receiving this stuff with. Did I? I think it comes to play. Uh, you decide. All right, L O U I S. I'll write it down. L O U I S. Um, Put the U in. Don't worry. At C O N T O U R D S T U. D I O. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> dot com. You ran out of room. I did run out of room. I wasn't expecting that. So it's Lewis at Contour, Contoured oh. yep. Studio. Yes. Dot com. Yes. Okay. It's like when they give you a confirmation number. I was <laughs> waiting for Gmail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep <right>. going. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Put the password on the back of your. <laughs> Of your uh, television thing, well, yeah, no. <laughs> Wi-Fi, <Okay. laughs> your router box. <laughs> Why do you need sixty-four characters? <laughs> random characters to boot. Yeah. All right. Or when they tell you to make a password, you got to have various different things in it. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a nightmare for <laughs> it's me. Like really? You just had the joy yesterday, but what is Sandy doing? Trying, trying. I am to unsure. Reboot a new. Box to my cable system. Which, uh, there's the directions. Follow the directions. Nothing happens. Alicia, could these, doesn't happen. Could I'm like, I where's just get the black screen that's supposed to have my code where I can push it in and activate it? I could never get that freaking black screen. <coughs> Couldn't find it. Hold on, David. <laughs> Back to business. Sorry, <laughs> Alicia. No, Sorry, R A D. B as in boy. Uh, was it R A B? I'm sorry. R A B Y, Rabbi. Oh, nice. Okay. Alicia A L I S A. -A. <laughs> okay. Um, Thank you. Obviously, my spelling is uh, <laughs> much to be desired yeah. with names. You're not there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have the words so, for a letter. A lot of with the so, city. is there other business? Um, probably the only thing that we stress is um, the need to get minutes onto um, the website within five days, and even if there are uh, a very preliminary. You know, just about the topics and, and, and basic decisions, and then we can do a more elaborate one. Absolutely. Yeah. I sent out an email last night um, saying that for the time being, I'm not going to take the notes. I can type them up. But um, I am finding my workload incredibly a lot at mm -hmm. the moment. And so it's keeping me from really getting it on time. And I apologize to the board and the community at large for my. Lightness. So this will be a, this will be a shared responsibility. I will continue to do the uh, subdivision 
pieces the the um, um, the warnings and the decisions. Thank you, Sandy. Um, yeah, so and we only, it only took three people to realize Joan. <laughs> I'll tell her that one. I always run into her and Mac all the time. I'll say, listen. Okay, so um, unless there's... I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All right. All in favor of adjourning. Aye. Aye. Okay. okay. Thank you, Sandy. For